This question wants us to compare the boiling point of pentane and pentan 2 o Okay, so what I would say is just draw two pentane molecules quickly. So pentane is just a normal 5-carbon alkane. I'm not going to go do all the hydrogens, but you know they're here, right? Okay, so there's that. Right, the reason I always draw two is because remember, when you are looking at boiling points, you are looking at the forces um, in between the molecules. So you're looking at these forces, you see, in between the molecules. You're not looking at the forces in the molecule. Those are called intra, but we're rather looking at intermolecular. Okay, so it always makes sense to draw two if you really want to get a good idea of what we're doing. Now, let's go draw two pentan 2 ol molecules. Pentan 2 ol is an alcohol where you have an OH on carbon number two. And then, of course, hydrogen everywhere else. Okay, but I'm not going to draw that just two. We know. And then let's draw another one. This time I'll make the OH face upwards. Why not? And then let's do that, let's do that, let's do that, let's do that. Okay, perfect. We would be looking at these intermolecular forces between the molecule. Okay, so what we need to do, let me first explain this to you in a simplified way, and then we can write down the formal answer, like the way you would do it in a test. Okay, so in organic chemistry with molecules, um, and we started learning about this in grade 11. You know, you get different intermolecular forces. The three main ones that we use in grade 12 would be London forces, um, dipole-dipole, and then hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bond. Okay, those are the three that we look at. Now, London forces are always going to be when you have um, an area of a molecule that is nonpolar. Well, let me actually write it out better for you guys. You can make some notes. So London forces are always going to be for the nonpolar part of the molecule. Uh, your teacher might call it the alkyl part of the molecule. It's, it's, it's the CH part. It's all this CH area. Um, in the alcohol, it's all of that over there, or like, for example, there. It's where all the Cs and the, a, the carbons and the hydrogen, those are the nonpolar alkyl parts, okay? Um, what they're trying to say is alkane, but the YL is just, yeah, don't worry, don't worry too much about that. Okay, then you get the dipole-dipole part. Now, that's typically um, next to a polar, well, that, that's always by a polar part, okay? Um, that could, for example, be like a carbon double bond, oxygen, or it's a polar part of the molecule. And then hydrogen bonding is also polar, but it's just a special type of polar, okay? So it's, also, it's just a special type of polar when you've got hydrogen bonded with nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine. So dipole-dipole and hydrogen bonding, it's the same type of thing, but hydrogen bonding just has its own unique name because it's a bit stronger. So scientists were like, okay, it's a little bit stronger, so let's just give it its own special name. But it's actually also just a polar type of thing, okay? So... What we would now do is you would look at this, these molecules here and you would realize that there's only carbon-hydrogen in that one. So this molecule, these molecules only have London forces. They don't have, um, they don't have, oh, why does it keep doing that? They don't have um, hydrogen bonding or dipole-dipole. So these molecules only have London. London forces are very weak. Okay, in this molecule over here, you've actually got a little bit of everything. Um, and, and, and I'm going to put this into formal writing soon, but I'm just explaining it to you guys. So here between these molecules, these parts over here, you see those are just carbon-hydrogen parts. So that's where you would have your London forces over there. Then you've also got the, the, um, the OH part. So wherever you have hydrogen bonded to either nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine, there's hydrogen bonding. So we've also got some hydrogen bonding taking place over there. But then we also have dipole-dipole. Um, because here you've got a carbon-oxygen, and here you've got a carbon-oxygen, for example. And those parts are both polar, but they're not hydrogen bonding. So that's where you would get the whole dipole-dipole. 
So the way that we can now go put this into words for four marks is the following. For the first, so what you do is you just take the first molecule and you just mention what type of intermolecular forces it has. So you can say pentane contains London forces between its molecules. Okay. Uh, for, then, for, then you just what you do next is you just say what the other molecule has. You're not comparing them just yet. You're just saying what they have. You could say pentan two O contains London forces. Some teachers will only ask you to mention the most dominant one, the strongest one. But I'm rather just going to give you the whole spectrum. Okay, so you can take what from it what you want. So some teachers would only mention the hydrogen bonding, but I'm just going to mention everything. So we could say pentantor contains London forces between the alkyl parts, dipole, dipole forces between the permanent dipoles of the um, carbon oxygen and oxygen hydrogen bond. Okay, um, then we can say, and then it also contains, and this is the most important one, hydrogen bonding between the OH groups. Some teachers will call that the hydroxyl groups. Okay, so alcohols actually have all three. They've got the London, they've got dipole-dipole, and they've got hydrogen bonding, okay? Now we need to summarize. That's where you get your fourth mark. So uh, actually, sorry, we've only done two. So what we did is we said, what does the first molecule have? That's step one. What did we say for the second molecule? Step two. Step three, um, we can say that Hydrogen bonding and dipole-dipole forces are stronger than London forces. Then your fourth step is to make a conclusion. This is where you actually answer the question. So I'm going to put my fourth one up here. But don't say one, two, three, and four in the test. Um, I'm just showing you the fourth case. The next part would be, um, therefore, more energy will be needed. You see, because the forces between the alcohol molecules are much stronger, so you would need more energy to you would need more energy to separate them. Okay, so you're saying more energy will be needed to overcome. The forces of attraction in pentan 2O. Um, therefore, pentan 2O has the larger boiling point.